Junie B, first grader at last. First, chapter one, first grade surprises. Thursday, dear first grade journal, yesterday was the first day of school. It is new here. Today my teacher handed out these journals. He is making us write in these dumb things. Only I don't even know what to write. My teacher has muscles and a mustache. His name is Mr. Scary. He made that name up, I believe. I'm not even scared of him, hardly. From Junie B, first grader. I put down my pencil and I looked at what I wrote. I did a sigh. I would like to go home now, I said to just myself. Shh, said a girl named May. I'm still trying to do my work. May sits next to me at, in the back of the room. I do not actually care for that girl. Just then my teacher stood up at his desk. His mustache smiled real friendly. Okay, boys and girls, you can stop writing now, he said. As I told you earlier, we will be working in our journals quite often this year. In fact, it won't be long until your journal starts feeling like an old friend. I rolled my eyes at the ceiling. What kind of an old friend looks like a dumb notebook? I said, shh, said May, said May again. You shouldn't talk when the teacher is talking, Junie Jones. I looked at her real annoyed. B, I said, my name is Junie B. I think I've mentioned that to you before, May. I leaned closer to her face. B, 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 I said. After that, I slumped in my seat and I put my head on my desk. I peeked at the other children who sit near me. Their names are her, and Lani, and Jose. I do not know them from a hole in the ground. I did another sigh. First grade is not what it's cracked up to be. My room isn't named Room Not, Room One. I was nervous when I came here yesterday. That's how come Daddy had to carry me all the way to the room because because my legs felt like squishing jello. He put me down outside the door. Well, here we are, Junie B, he said. First grade, at last. My stomach had flutterflies in it. Also, my arms had prickly goosebumps. And my forehead had drops of sweaty. I'm a wreck, I said. Daddy smiled very nice. There's nothing to worry about, Junie B, I promise, he said. You're going to love first grade. Just think, there's a whole room full of brand new friends just waiting to meet you. He ruffled my hair. Are you ready to go in now? He asked. Hmm? Are you ready to begin your first grade adventure? I looked at him a real long time. Then I quick spun around and I zoomed down the hall as fast as I could. Then I zoomed after me. He caught up with me speedy, speedy quick. Then he carried me back to my class. Only this time... He carried me straight into the room. As soon as he put me down, I hid behind his legs. Cause that place was a zoo, I tell you. There were people everywhere. There were girls and boys and mothers and daddies and grandmas and grandpas. Plus, also, there was Julie babies and strollers. Then all of a sudden, my whole mouth came open. Because good news, I finally saw someone I knew. I jumped up and down and all around. Daddy, Daddy, it's Lucille, I hollered. Remember Lucille? Lucille was my bestest friend from kindergarten last year. Lucille was sitting at a desk next to the window. I ran to her in a jiffy. Then I hugged and hugged that girl, and I couldn't even stop. Lucille, Lucille, it's me, it's me. It's your bestest friend from kindergarten, Junie B. Jones. I tried to pick her up. I'm so glad to see you, friend. I shouted real joyful. Lucille pulled my arms off her. Stop it, Junie, stop it, she said. You're wrinkling my new back-to-school dress. This thing costs a fortune. I stopped hugging her. Lucille smoothed and fluffed herself. I smoothed and fluffed her, too. There, I said, good as me. After that, I grabbed Lucille's hand, and I started to pull. Come on, Lucille, let's go find two desks together, I said. I think we should sit near the door. Want to? Huh? If we sit near the door, we can stare at people who walk down the hall. Lucille yanked her hand away from me. No, Junie B. No, I'm going to sit at this desk right here, she said. I 
already picked up it out with my two new friends, Camille and Chanel. She pointed at the door. See them over there? I met them before you came. They are saying goodbye to their mother. Aren't they precious? I looked at Camille and Chanel. Guess what? My eyes popped right out of my head. Because, because wow, wow, wow. These girls were twins. That's why. I sprang way high in the air. Twins, twins, they're twins. Lucille, this is our lucky day. I pulled on her again. Come on, Lucille, let's go touch them. Hurry, hurry, before a line forms. Lucille did not budge a muscle. Stop it, Junie B. Quit pulling on me, she said. Camille and Chanel don't want to be touched, and besides, I am their new best friend, not you. I looked surprised at that girl. Yes, but I can be their bestest friend along with you, right, Lucille? I asked. All I have to do is meet them, right? And then all of us can be bestest friends together. Lucille shook her head. No, Junie B, I'm sorry, but you and I have already been best friends, remember? She said, we were best friends for a whole long year. Now it's time for Camille and Chanel to get a turn. She did a shrug. It's only fair of me, she said. And besides, their name, name is Fry and it's my name. And yours doesn't. She wrinkled her nose very cute. Camille, Chanel, and Lucille. See? Isn't that darling? After that, Lucille gave me a pat. Don't be sad, okay, she said. You and I can still be, fr be friends, Jimmy B. Just not on a regular basis. After that, she raised her fingers and she said, ta ta. And she skipped to Camille and Chanel. And that's the end of chapter one.